say defect management in software testing defect management defect reporting and tracking ah uh, come to main what is defect in software testing say defect is general term you can find this term in general industrial products also uh, but our scenario is different what is defect in software testing flaw in a component or system that can cause the component or system to fail to perform its required function to perform its required function next differentiate error defect and failure see all these are same purpose same or you can say meaning same but terminology varies from one phase to another in software application life cycle observe software application life cycle earlier we discussed the software development life cycle software testing life cycle this time uh, grand one software application life cycle terminology varies from one phase to another in software application life cycle software application life cycle has three phases first one development phase in development phase if developers if developers find any mismatch they call it as error or mistake in development phase if developers find any mismatch they call it as error or mistake next testing phase in testing phase if testers find any mismatch means deviation from expected then they call it as defect or bug or fault next last one production phase third one in production phase if customers or end users find any mismatch means deviation from expected then they call it as failure okay next give a sample defect report template uh, say uh, defect report template defect report template may vary from one company to another sometimes one project to another but purpose same what i am going to explain is standard template try to follow a sample defect report template uh, fields first one defect id unique number or name unique number or name next description summary of the defect next feature module or function or service in this module found the defect next test case name corresponding failing test case next reproducible fifth failed reproducible uh, s or no suppose if yes uh, every time defect appears during test execution then <coughs> we can provide the 
uh, steps for locating that defect next no suppose not reproducible means uh, defect rarely appears not every time that time we need to provide proof example snapshot etc next sixth field status status of defect for example new reopen etc see first time we provide a new only okay next seventh field severity or you can say severity seriousness of defect with respect to functionality next eighth one priority importance of the defect with respect to customers next ninth one uh, reported uh, name of test engineer next tenth one reported on date of submission next eleventh one assigned to uh, name of the responsible person in development team next twelfth one build version in which build test engineer found the defect next thirteenth one suggested fix it is optional tester tries to produce suggestion to solve this defect next fixed by uh, corresponding developer developer's name next resolved by uh, resolved by developer's name fixed by uh, high level pmr team lead resolved by corresponding developer next resolved on date of solving by developers next 17th one a resolution type uh, resolution type what is the flow of the defect next 18th approved by uh, signature of the project manager okay i already explained defect report template may vary from one company to another sometimes one project to another but purpose same reporting the defect next fourth one what is producible defect if a defect is appearing every time means in every execution then the defect is producible defect we can provide steps for locating the defect next fifth one what is not reproducible defect uh, if a defect is occurring rarely means sometimes only not every time then the defect is not reproducible defect we have to provide proof uh, example snapshot etc for locating the defect next <clears throat> what are the different types of status of defects uh, see status of defects we have different types of status uh, first one new new status tester provides new status while reporting the defect for the first time next open open status uh, developer opens the defect next rejected developer our dev team rejects the defect uh, if the defect is invalid or duplicate next fixed fixed developer provides 
fixed status after fixing the defect next deferred developer only provides the status uh, due to time etc means developer postpone some defects uh, not high severe defects only cosmetic defects next closed status tester provides closed status after performing confirmation testing next reopen status tester reopens the defect with valid reasons and proofs okay these are the important status of defects new open rejected fixed deferred closed and reopen next explain about defect life cycle defect life cycle say we have different flows of the defect uh, different flows of the defect suppose one defect uh, first newly raised then opened newly raised opened fixed closed see different flows of the defect new opened fixed and closed next another flow new opened fixed suppose not fixed properly then reopened again fixed closed next another flow uh, new opened then rejected again reopened by testers reopened fixed closed see new opened rejected reopened fixed closed see different flows of defects next what is defect management defect management the process of recognizing investigating taking action and uh, disposing of defects see once again the process of recognizing investigating taking action and disposing of defects it involves recording defects classifying defects and identifying the impact of defects uh, some companies use manual process for defect management and some companies use tool based process for defect management see uh, tools for defect management example bugzilla issue tracker pr tracker mantis etc next what is defect management tool uh, a tool that uh, facilitates the recording and status tracking of defects and changes they often have workflow oriented facilities to track and control the allocation correction and retesting of defects and provide reporting facilities okay next what is defect deduction percentage ddp the number of defects found by a the number of defects found by in testing phase divided by the number 
found by the testing phase and any other means afterwards next what is defect reporting process defect reporting process may vary from one company to another defect reporting process uh, depends on company size also suppose one small size small scale company uh, defect reporting process tester to developer directly uh, next medium scale company tester to test lead test lead to development lead development lead to developer next third one large scale company tester to test lead test lead to defect tracking team defect tracking team to development team development team to developer okay next what is defect masking what is defect masking an occurrence in which one defect prevents the detection of another an occurrence in which one defect prevents the detection of another next what is defect density the number of defects identified in a component or system divided by the size of the component or system okay next what is defect based test design technique a procedure to derive and or select test cases targeted at one or more defect categories with tests being developed from what is known about the specific defect category next last one what is defect report a defect report a defect uh, sorry what is defect report a document reporting one reporting on any flaw sorry a document reporting on any flaw in a component or system that can cause the component or system to fail to perform its required function thank you